Hi friends, uh, I am going to show you how you can uh, use Application Insight, Azure Application Insight in your ASP.NET VC application and we will see how you can log, trace all of the data and put it into Azure Application Insight and view it through the portal. So basically, uh, Application Insight we will be creating in the Azure portal and that will be uh, created. So Azure Monitor Insights is a group of services basically. So it uh, it has lot of resources and we will see how we are going to use the work, workspace based application insight. Workspace based application insights uh, uh, will need a log analytics workspace so that uh, you can send the log into analytics workspace which can be further integrated uh, with the Azure Sentinel. Okay, so question arises what kind of log you can put uh, using Azure application insight. So basically if you want to trace your application throughout, if you want to see the performance anomalies, you want to try to find out the uh, analytics using the tools available in the Azure, right? So all of this can be achievable using App Insight. So you have to first install your instrumentation package SDK in your web application and then what happens is uh, it will initialize an instrumentation instance that will monitor your web application automatically. And the logs, the telemetry data Okay, and it will log all of the telemetry data into your application insight, which is in the cloud or your portal. So each log entry needs an GUID, which is called as instrumentation key. So this instrumentation key you must create and get it from the Azure portal. Okay, so what kind of data we can log then? Right, so Imagine uh, what are the request rates you want to understand how many requests are coming What is my response time from uh, from the server? How many times I am failing? What are the rate for that? Okay, is there any exceptions coming in my system? What is the view load time performance if there is any HTTP call HX call then can you trust them? How many user sessions has been created? and all of the counters related to performance. Then you can check out the diagnostics from the uh, Azure or Docker, right? And you can trust the diagnostic log. And then you can also create custom events and metrics so that you can put them into your dashboard, in Azure dashboard and always uh, have a look every time that how your application is behaving. All of this data that you log like request rate, response time, exception, failure rate, etc. You can use them to visualize at some point, right? You can use the workbook, you can use application map, profiler, usage analysis, diagnostics, search for instance data, and also Visual Studio. So these are all good tools that you can use to visualize your all the log that you are going to log from your MPC application. So, in order to do this thing, I'll demo you how you can uh, basically integrate application insight. Application insight is nothing but think, think them like a logger for you, right? You create your uh, JavaScript project or C sharp project, you need a logger. So this is the logger basically. And it will do a lot of logging free for you. You don't need to worry about them like I mentioned all of them, right? So basically you need to create a web application, install the application insight which will uh, put the uh, basically, you have to just uh, uh, install the application insights telemetry, which is built in from Microsoft, and you will see in your 2019 Visual Studio, which will help you to insight, uh, install them. Once you install that, it will ask you, like, um, and then basically you can create the log analytics workspace going to the Azure portal because, as I said, we are going to be using workspace based uh, uh, application insight, which needs analytics workspace. And there's a huge benefit. I will recommend using analytics workspace so that in, you can in future connect the 
um, Azure Sentinel and participate in enterprise level monitoring, correct? And then similarly, uh, you can create the application insight next on the Azure portal, which will be connected to the analytics workspace. And finally, you can get the instrumentation key that you can integrate in your web.config file of your MVC project. So I was going a little fast, but I'll show you in the demo and then it will be uh, okay, right? So if you see the demo, in demo what we will do is first we will create a um, uh, ASP.NET MVC application. So if you go to your Visual Studio 2019 and uh, shell and say I want to create a new project. So select creating new project. So next uh, we have to find out we want to make a ASP.NET app application. So search for ASP.NET and we will take a C sharp one. So uh, instead of core, let's go to ASP.NET web application .NET framework one, which is 472 at this time. So .NET framework 472. Next, uh, you want to put the name. So let's give some name to this application. Uh, we can give, uh, uh, let's say, let's give it demo for this purpose. So I can say application insight demo. So check out your folder location, whichever folder you want to put .NET Framework, then say create. So uh, .NET Framework should be 472. Then you can click create. It will ask you the template. So take a MVC one and say create. So it will take some time to create your project while it is creating a project. Um, project, you can run it. And if you run, uh, and see if your project is uh, correct or not. Uh, good. So this project is running. So I think there is no error in it. Uh, it got it free. I got it free from Microsoft. Next step is to start logging, right? So let's uh, go to the project. Uh, basically, we need to install that uh, application inside uh, Telemetry, right? So that is, like I said, it is already available in 2019. So you can always install from Visual Studio itself, right? So let's do that. Now what you need to do is uh, we need to get the application insights telemetry installed here in this project. So let's do that. Go to the uh, tools, uh, projects maybe, yeah, projects, and then uh, click on uh, application insights telemetry. Sorry about that, that part, that part was cutting, but you can just select the application inside SDK local and then uh, NuGet package it install, which will help you to install the application insights telemetry. And then basically it says local, but you can always uh, uh, put the instrumentation key and uh, then it will put it all the log into your Azure portal. So at this time I have installed this NuGet package. So next step is um, you, know, uh, you can notice in the right hand side application insights.config file has been created already, right? So in that config file, basically you will have an instrumentation key, which will going to be used to trace each and every log into the Azure uh, application insight. So what you need to do is uh, at this time, uh, let's go ahead into the portal and in the portal, we want to create uh, first uh, the analytics workspace and then we will create our application insight. So you can see in this uh, application insight.config, uh, we have this instrumentation, instrumentation key thing, which is commented out. So we will uncomment it, instrumentation key. And uh, whenever we will create our application insight in Azure portal, we will bring our key and put it here. Okay, So that our web application will start logging into the Azure portal. Next, go to uh, Azure portal, and uh, this time we have to search for the service, right? Which is called as application insight. So, search for the service, all services, and search for application insight. Click on that. Um, we need to create new one, and you need to give a resource group. So, I'll provide the resource group that I have been created already. So, select uh, your resource group, and then give some name. Next, uh, we need to uh, put the log workspace analytics workspace log analytics workspace 
so this is here you see classical or workspace space so i don't have any workspace so this time i have to go back and create a workspace okay so this is important thing to note that you need to create a workspace first so let's uh, search for log analytics uh, workspace and quickly create a new analytics workspace in the same group that you want to put give it a name i will give uh, learning application inside or learning monitoring and then uh, uh, what we need to do is uh, select the pricing and then ready to create right so create it so see the workspace uh, analytics workspace is created so what you need to do next is uh, to uh, go back and create our application inside again and use this workspace okay so go to all services and search for application insight you can again search it i didn't find it in my dashboard here pinned so application insight create one and give a name and make sure you put the resource group also first and here now you can see your um, workspace came right and validation failed because i didn't put the resource group right so select the resource group and then you can see this time you can uh, create your application inside successfully so once you create this application inside then you can get the instrumentation key from here so let's go ahead and click on create button so notice our uh, resource has been created which is an application inside resource so now you can go to the resource and also check out the instrumentation key So see in the overview it is showing you the connection string and instrumentation key copy that instrumentation key from here go back to hp.net project put it into your web.config uh, application inside.config file that that key and then once you save and run this project then you will notice that uh, in the application insight in azure portal your logs will be going so see my uh, logs are showing here i don't have any failure let me navigate to multiple pages and it will take some time actually to put all of the logs here it takes couple of minutes to to show all of the uh, logs uh, once you uh, wait for that time then you will see the logs coming so you can um, uh, see this application inside activity log here it is showing and then um, so there is an option also where you can uh, uh, go and check the performance of your application in overview it will show you the response time server request and uh, availability and you can also see your live metrics also so failures i don't have any failures live metrics will be coming soon uh, i need to sub navigate to some of the pages here and see this live metrics uh, demo is being shown here to me so it is not available yet my application is offline it is showing so you can go to the uh, the analytics workspace also so you can click on learning monitoring that my analytics workspace and here uh, is the great thing here all of your logs that you collected came here and then now you can connect to workbook or you can connect to azure sentinel um, this is the uh, main thing like actually so here you can also see the server request response time failed request availability of your application and you can connect to any services from this uh, workspace okay you can set up alert and about that thank you